I might have to give him a quick call and just let him know that his stratosphere is blowing up right now. Social media will now be ruined for the rest of your life for you. Yeah. Just letting you know. It will never be the same. You'll never get the social benefits. <laughs> I think it's I think it's gonna go crazy with your stuff. Like I'm actually excited about it because because of the market and because of the product. And that's that's the thing, you know, like with with organic Facebook. Whilst you can't promise, you know, thousands of new fans and millions of engagement, the reality is, is you'll never get that if you're not consistent anyhow. So the first strategy, you know, for the, you know, the first couple of weeks is just consistent posting. That alone will boost engagement. Just by the law of repetition, you know, it, it, we've had pages that have been, you know, I guess you would say laying dormant before and we've taken them over and, you know, one of them, like yours isn't dormant, you're, you're getting interaction, so it's not the case, but you know, pages where people are, are out there and they're just like, you know what, there's no point posting because I'm not getting any interaction. But you come in and you put an aggressive post strategy, like again, and this depends on how long a page has been alive for and how long since the last post. You know, you might go on and have to post eight times a day for three weeks consistently to get it ramping itself back up again, you know? The beautiful thing with organic Facebook, and it's not magic, you only need one or two posts to just go crazy and you're made. So it's, it's, it's like the, the, the backpack kid, right? He had one little video where he put it up to his 3,300 followers and that one video got re, reposted by Katy Perry or something and then it just gone bazon because now he's got a million followers, you know? But the, the key behind it is consistency and you'll never have the opportunity to hit the gold mine if you're not out there digging. Mm. And you know, and that's 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 why this was created. It's and I've been pre preaching this for the last few months. Is it's it's not it's no longer a casual or a part time role. You know, Sally the admin can't manage your social media. You might take a look at that beautiful specimen on TV. <laughs> and this is so important because this is not going to be the last person you hire, right? Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> nah, of course not. So I really want you to start wrapping your head around this whole thing about hiring. Before you can bring someone on, you really need to get super clear on what are you even expecting from this person because they may not be able to fulfill those, those requirements. And you don't want to bring someone on if they only fulfill 50% of what you want, right? Because this guy right now that you're talking about, and you can fill me in on more detail, he may be a good fit, but he might not be the best fit. And he may be good for now and he could fill a void. Or what you might find out is once you do your role, the responsibilities, the requirements, what you expect from this person, they might be the best person ever, Yeah. right? So you've got to get super clear on all of it, like the times on when they're working, what's expected, you know, is there travel, this, that, you have to be attending the events, you know, you have to be a part of the events, four day, five day events, 14 day events, like you need to be super diligent with that, right? Monday to Friday, or maybe it's, you know, whatever days you're working, that's the standard, but they can do, they can call outside of that because they may need to work, you know, call someone at 7 p.m. because that's when they finish work or, you know. So you need to get super clear on those points. Like we've had three interviews today, job interviews of um, an admin slash PA that's coming on board. Every single person was like, are you able to travel international? Is that gonna be a problem to you? Oh, um, national, if we need to go to Sydney or this or that, is that gonna be a problem? No, it's not, cool, okay. What about this, what about that? You know, and you, you keep going through the things and go, well, you know, whilst we are eight to four, you know, it's not a sort of clock in, clock out. You're here at eight, you're, you leave straight away at four. That's not how we operate here. This is what we expect, etc., etc. And you'll find, soon find that, you know, someone might go, oh, I can't do Fridays because of this. It's like, okay, well, you know, clearly not a good fit. Or we do what we have to do to get a job done. You know, one of the questions I said, I said, if I called you at two o'clock in the morning, 
whilst that's not going to be a you know a standard thing but if i did call you at two o'clock in the morning and said we need you down at the office is that going to be a problem no nah? yeah, cool so when you do ever ring it too which you won't but it's what you're doing is you're just testing the the flexibility and variability of the person but if it's purely sales then it needs to be sales driven so you need to pay a base which is going to you know be able to get them to pay the bills and actually live yeah. but if they want to go to the next level let's let's say you just did a forty thousand base but potential to earn you know a hundred thousand a year based upon a more structured bonus process you're going to get someone to want to work harder to hit those targets do you know what i mean so when you look at the wolf of wall street how he used to pay his workers it wasn't you weren't on like two hundred thousand dollar a year salary you're on straight up commission and whatever you sold you make they could make millions so the potential there is is big so all of a sudden if i said to you dude Give me three thousand dollars a week, and I'll give you twelve thousand. What would you say? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> is that all you'd say? Fucking hell. So it's about making sure the incentive is amazing for that person to go. Shit. Okay. Do you understand um, all that? Yeah, I, I want to say thank you. This is really, really helping me a lot. So. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's what I'm here for, man. And this is what you need to have set up from the get-go, because now all of a sudden, if you've got a process you're going to be able to enroll as many sales wizards as you want. What's going on? Oh, just launched something and it's killing it already for our client. You know, it's just what we do here all day. I might have to give him a quick call and just let him know that his stratosphere is blowing up right now. We have to keep an eye on the results. Refresh. That's what I used to do with the Fit Chick stuff. I'd fucking refresh the page and it would go from like 80 to, oh, 100, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you can't take my call, I'll leave you a message. Mate, just wanted to give you a quick call, share some, uh, some pretty good news so far. Fans obviously building already and the leads are starting to come through, so it'll be great to see what this can produce. So we'll be keeping a close eye on it, obviously, and don't be surprised with um, us having a few hundred leads there within the next day. So I hope that uh, can add a little bit of uh, cheerfulness to your day. Have a great day. It's just amazing how many people are actually not familiar with what they're doing. I'm just working again. Fucking what's new? The thug life. All right, let me wrap up, man. Just go, hey, see you guys. Jack's got to go. I'm still here. He's leaving me. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. See ya. <laughs> like a boss. Wrap it up like a boss. I feel a little bit like Britney Spears. Oops, I did it again. Still sitting here, working away. It's nice and quiet though, I get a lot done at night time. Last night, 10.30, sitting on my laptop. Crazy, crazy. It's all right, don't know if I told you, but I'm going to Bora Bora at Christmas, so definitely going to enjoy that. I was just walking past the sign on the way out, and it got me thinking, when you've got the name on the wall, it comes with big responsibility. So if you're sitting there and you're not happy with your current business, your current life, you're not achieving what you want. You know, you need to put in the extra effort, you need to put in the extra time, the focus, the energy needed to be able to grow your business to where you want it to be so it can provide the life that you want to be living. So as we close off today's vlog, who oh, I was hoping that'd be more dramatic, but that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it. Good night from me. I'm out of here. See you tomorrow. I can hear a noise. I'm still here. Oh my gosh. That's why you don't let me lock up all the time. Oh, where to go, Brett? Left the tap on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this time, I'm out of here for real. Good night. All right, I said the vlog was finished, but I'm now sitting on the couch. I went to go down to my car and go home. But Jake has my fucking keys in his pocket and he's halfway on his way back to Brisbane. So, I have a little dilemma. Maybe I might just sleep on the couch tonight. Be my first overnighter. I'm sure I'll sort it out though. I'm sure I'll sort it out. And if I wake up on this couch tomorrow, tomorrow's vlog starts with me wearing these same clothes. Then I stayed here. But if it doesn't, it means I found a way home. Because guess what? For every problem, there is always a solution. That's what I believe in. So, always a solution. See you tomorrow. <laughs> For real this time. I promise. Thank you for watching today's vlog. If you would like to tune into another episode, hit the video on your left and don't forget to subscribe by hitting the link on the right.